Follow Jamie TV for more exclusive content. I'm gonna give an update on Kayla now. Um, um, well, she's still here, so she's not dead, if that's what you're all asking. Um, she's still here. But today's, today's a rough day for me. Today, today's a rough day. I'm going to give you the good news about Kaylan right now. Kaylan has started to communicate um, using her mouth. She, you won't hear any sound, but she can talk. She can talk somewhat. Not talk as in out loud talk, but you know. If you if you if you if she's starting to, to, to form her words with her lips. Um, you know it, it, it's not it's not an easy thing to do this. And um I, I, I didn't want to share too much with everybody but I think it's time that I just put what's going on with her out there so that we can we can give God some praise. Right? Cause because maybe that's what we need. Some praise. Give God some praise. Alright, so she's starting to move her feet. Well, the left side mainly. She's starting to do some some toe movements and I'm not talking when you tickle the foot bottom I'm talking at will when you tell her to move it she's starting to move the fingers on the left hand as well um, the hardest part of this is that she's communicating right now right and she wants to go home and i have to keep telling her that she can't go home Karen can't come off that ventilator because she can't breathe Karen heart is not keeping up Karen has had in the past 48 hours, well, less, she had two cardiacs in 24 hours. Um, yet, yes, not yesterday, day before yesterday in the morning, she had a cardiac unprovoked, meaning they weren't moving her, they weren't doing anything with her, and the heart just stopped. Her heart just stopped. For five minutes. For five minutes, right? And then yesterday, yesterday they were changing the tube, and her heart stopped again for twenty minutes. Twenty. 20 minutes I never knew a heart could stop for 20 minutes she wants to go home and I can't take her she says she'd rather die than stay in the hospital she, she's, not, she's just crying and she wants to go home and I can't take her home. I don't know why this is happening. The good news is, she's young. I've purchased the pacemaker with the money that I have for her. Out of the money that I have already, um, I know that um, 
the guys on chat and laugh made a donation um, so when I receive that that can go back into the account but the pacemaker was an emergency so I just went ahead and paid for it now the pacemaker is something that she can never take out it's something that is going to stay with her in her inside of her until you know the end of time I guess why I don't know I don't understand this why you know um again I'm gonna have to get a home ventilator eventually I'm gonna have to get nurses not just a nurse nurses nurses to monitor everything to take care of her um, you know for the rest of our life um, how do you tell your child that they can't come home how do you tell them why they can't get up how do you tell them why you can't make things better how do you tell her why you have to leave her because I have to leave her right I have to leave her in there when she's unconscious it's different when she's not communicating it's different but she is and it's not fair it is not fair she thinks that God is punishing her she says God is punishing her for something she didn't do and she didn't do anything. She didn't do anything. It's not fear. It is not fear. <laughs> You know, still, still continuing to trust that God is gonna, cause that's all that basically she needs a miracle. That's what it is. A lot of things are unexplained. Medically, it's still unexplained because the spinal injury is there. But there's nothing to, to say what is causing it or what caused it. The surrounding tissue of the spinal injury is, is intact. So basically, it's as if the spine just damaged on its own. That's what it would seem like. She's gonna be she's gonna be lying in her bed for a very long time. And she keeps why, 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 why? She wants to know why she can't get up. Why? Right? Why she can't get up? Why she can't do this? Why she can't do that? Why she can't go home? Why I have to go? Why she can't sleep in her bed? Why? Subscribe to Jeremy TV. I'm trying to be strong, but I today is not a strong day for me. Today is not a strong day for me. 
Today is not a strong day for me. But I wanted you guys to know that she's communicating. She's starting to move body parts, her hand, her feet. Even with that sweet too, she's still doing something. But her heart keeps stopping. Her heart keeps stopping. Her heart keeps stopping. <laughs> So now she's going to live with a pacemaker inside her. You know. You know. It's all a 50-50 still. Even today, it's a 50-50 still. There's a chance that she might. That's just a chance that she might. There's a chance that she might. You know? Keep asking God for mercy. Just to have a little bit. Just a little bit. That's all I'm asking. Just a little bit of mercy. There's a little bit of mercy. She's suffering. And that's the hardest thing. She's suffering and that's that's the heartbreaking thing. She knows that she's there. She knows that she's suffering. You know, <sighs> still believe God is able because they, there's still no explanation to how she's starting to move. Her brain seems to be perfectly fine, consciously. Um, she does have some memory loss, but overall, she's doing pretty well in that area. But she's still unstable, still fragile, still heart still stopping without probable cause. Well, the probable cause is the C2, but meaning unprovoked. Um, you know, she's already a miracle because this is now seven cardiac arrests. Mm -hmm. Seven times her heart has stopped now. I didn't even know a heart could stop for 20 mm -hmm. minutes. That's a long time for someone to be dead and then to come back alive. Oh, Jesus. You know? But, you know, I still thank you guys for being there, for praying. Because, you know, that's what got us thus far. Along with the doctors. Doing their part, and the nurses doing their part. But you know, the biggest part is being done by God. You know, we're just hoping that as mysteriously as the spinal injury appeared, we're hoping, you know, it will disappear just as mysteriously. My child is hurting and I can't fix it. She's hurting and I can't fix this. I cannot fix this. I cannot fix this. I, I don't know why it's happening. 
why is it it happened and and, and, I, and, and I just want it to end right now I just want her to get better so I can stop telling her that she can't come home really and truly the injury that she has um, her pathway is um, pacemaker for life ventilator for life immobility um you know but the only other option is a miracle the only other option is a miracle that's it the only other option is for her to get a miracle a miracle that's what's gonna make a difference